Welcome back to another episode of Spill the Beans here at Tigham with um, my good mate Dale Tapping. How are you, Taps? Hilly, how are you, mate? Good, going well, going well. So, here to chat a little bit about footy, a little bit about life outside of footy. So, how have you and the coaches seen the year so far, Taps? To this point, uh, Huey, very good, very positive. Um, yeah, we've put ourselves in a really good position um, to this point in time, but yeah, a lot of hard work to go. But um, to this point, we've got, I think you can just see the playing group now sort of gaining confidence about what we do and how we're going about it. So I think we've trained really well over the last couple of weeks. You can see there's been a clear lift in intensity about how we're going about our work. So yeah. um, it's very, very positive. Very positive sign. Yeah. Well, here we go. Well, here we go. What have, you, what have you gone with, Hugh? I've got the uh, cup of black tea. Black tea? Uh, Thank you. I can't Thank really you. actually drink coffee at, in the Arvos because I have a little bit of trouble sleeping. So I'm still I'm still new to the coffee drinking scene. No, well, this is, uh, I normally have a couple, a couple of lattes a day, but not too many after lunch. So yeah. try to sort of get me caffeine hit early. early. Yeah. Now, I was talking to Big Ben Hudson this morning, and <laughs> <he's>, <laughs> he was telling me a few things about you. Yeah, what he reckons yeah. He reckons you're very meticulous about the way you have your clothes when you're on a travel, and the way you pack your bag after after travel. Are you a little bit OCD, or? Um, absolutely, Hugh. Yes, I am, <laughs> but if, for the fans out there, if you do happen to share a room and travel with Ben Hudson, as I've done <laughs> since my time at the football club, um, you can see why. Yeah. Because within, you know, invariably Ben will ask me, Taps, have you seen my polo? Taps, have you seen my socks? <laughs> so, yeah, so, yeah. So we've you've got, got to be organised. We've got, a, we've got a pretty good routine. Thanks very and much. Here we go, the banana breads. A banana bread. with, the, with no butter as you've, you've asked for. <laughs> Have you had any lunch yet, Taps, or is this. No, I had this a banana. We had an early match committee meeting this morning at 7 30 to to sort of go over just our plans in the training session. So I just, yeah. as I left the home about seven o'clock, I grabbed a banana on exit and I just grabbed a coffee on the way through. So I haven't had too much. So yeah, right. a, a banana and a bit of banana cake will go down beautifully. Yeah, it looks good. Are you much of a cook yourself or do you leave that for? Um, no, lovely, lovely wife Kelly. Kelly's the, the cook of our house. I'm, I'm not too bad like with some eggs and avocado and that for the yeah. kids, so they're pretty simple with their eating patterns. So um, yeah, certainly help out in that regard, but anything anything which is gonna take any more than ten minutes I'm gonna battle away with to be. Oh here we go. We've got a we've got a lion supporter. Oh, a lion supporter. Who's that? Lions. Fifteen years. Fifteen, 15 year member. years. Ah, and what's your name? Merle. Merle. Hi Merle. Awesome. Get, get Merle on. Yeah, fifteen years we've been going. <laughs> Who's number 15? Oh. <laughs> no, he's not too bad, is he? We always, we put the stand and we always say, give it to Eric. <laughs> He'll kick it. Yeah. I love you all awesome. the best. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Ta. Nice to meet you. Well, it's nice meeting you well, isn't it? <laughs> there we Abbott go. Lions supporter? Yeah, out here at Tigham. Must be a bit of Lions country, so. Yeah. So, Huey, playing games at the Gabba um, this year, like, we've both been at the club since 17 and sort of remember our first couple of games running out or you running out on the Gabba and just from a coaching perspective and looking up and the stands weren't really full. Yeah. And I've seen that continually grow like last year and particularly this year where we've we've got crowds in excess of you know, 22 plus most games and up to 38 against the Collingwood games. So how have you, how from a playing perspective have you, have you seen the growth in our support and obviously our success as a team, yeah. but what's it been like out there with the with the, with the crowd. Yeah, it's been awesome uh, to have the, the extra numbers out there and it just gives you that extra boost. Uh, especially in the tight games, which we've had a fair, fair few of at the Gabba, you get, you get the big crowds and they get unbelievably loud there. Um, I'm not sure what it is about the Gabba, but yeah, you get 20, 22, 23 and it feels like it's nearly a full house. It, yeah. It's uh, crazy. I remember against, I reckon it was Port Adelaide when Big Oscar took the mark in the last quarter yeah. and and that, that roar was as loud as I've ever heard. And you know, we played a few games at Etihad where it's been nearly full. Uh, and yeah, that was well up there with, with that sort of roar. So it's been awesome to see the crowd start coming in and hopefully we can keep building on that, uh, which is good. Yeah, oh, it's, it certainly has, it's been fantastic. So to all the supporters out there that are continually coming to our games and you know, it really gives the players a real lift. So um, yeah. Yeah, it's been fantastic. 100%. 
Right on, Taps, it's been a pleasure sharing Cheers. a drink with you. No worries. And a, and a nice bit of banana bread yes. as well. So. The banana cake's been beautiful. It has. Thanks very much for tuning in to this segment of Spill the Beans at the Coffee Club. Um, and we look forward to seeing it in the next game. See you guys.